Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do another ship showcase of the Millennium Falcon. This is my version of the Millennium Falcon. We'll look at it later on better in the builder. Now we're just going to see how she goes. Jumped here by a bunch of spacers. We could use a vacation. If you're feeling generous, you could help us out. Or we can just dust your ship. Well, hopefully this goes better than it did the last time I tried it. <laughs> but anyways, we'll see. If that's how you want to play it. Widen out the field of view here. Still didn't quite get the effect I wanted. Helps when you're outside the ship and do this. Running and gunning, but got it done. I'm not gonna bother collecting. See if we can get in another fight that's not so. so intense. Closer in. That wasn't my best fight, but we pulled it off. Traveling around the Serpentis system. Getting 
in ship battles. It's usually a little better in this though. We've got a lot more misses and hits here. A little bit funny because it all fires from the side. Definitely got the Millennium Falcon kind of profile to it. Six of those motors kind of merged them together a little bit, try to get them a little bit smaller. Next row back, I got um, fuel cell and the grab drive and the reactor all in there. Anyways, let's go on the, actually we'll go for a tour through the inside. Cockpit, um, Tayo, the Tayo bridge, biggest one or most expensive one or last one, whichever way you want to look at it on the list. Uh, this is just a one by one storage, I think. And it would be a Stroud Ackland. Let me down the hole. This is a Stroud Ackland two by two living quarters. Kind of got the lounging area. Millennium Falcon kind of had a lounging area. So. And this is the bunk room. Um, this is Stroud All-in-One Berth B, I believe. There's usually a cook station here, but it's with a door, but the next berth up is the same berth again. All-in-One Berth, but this one has the cook station. Got a window in here so you can look out. Uh, next station over, this is uh, Crew Command Station. This is just to bring the crew level of the, the ship up. And like a little back alcove thing, just kind of Millennium Falcon-like in my opinion. You can imagine yourself uh, hanging out with the princess back here. If you were so inclined. And down one more level. And the workbenches. I don't have a medical bay on here or a science lab for that matter. It's a little short there. You could probably switch one of those upper ones for that if you wished. And this is the exit and the docking port. So anyways, let's land. We'll go to a shipbuilder.
So yeah, it's Starfield. you got to work with what you got. And then I have other criteria that I like to keep as well And when I build the ships. I like them to have a pretty good amount of cargo so I can switch between my ships and not have any issues. Side definitely has got the side entrance like the Falcon does. Definitely seems like it's got good protrusions there. Cockpit looks kind of cool, pretty much Falcon like. Yeah, it's just the rear of the engine profile is not as good as I would like. I know I could make it better, but I think I got I don't think I can get the thrust that I get from those motors. So. Anyways, uh, look at it in the builder. Missiles buried underneath the, uh, this cowl here. And you can see that uh, basically got one on either side. The uh, Vanguard obliterators, there's six of them right there. And then the turret is buried under this one. Here it is buried under, oh, not actually there, right here. Nope, I put those. Or I had two more turrets back here. So there's another turret there. Um, and how I get those in there is basically by drop merging. Um, see if I can show you how I do it. Um, I also see one of my criteria is I like to have at least four of these storage units on there that gives me the carry capacity that I want. Um, and how to drop merge stuff or how I do it anyways I will do a quick demonstration on that structures I find these demo storage or, uh, hulls very useful for doing this kind of stuff So if I wanted to drop merge one on there, I cannot put this back on there. It will not let me. But if I go up one to there and then duplicate this, see how it pops down there green? And then just hit the A button and now it's there. Now you can take this stuff away. Put everything back. Same 
color do I have one over here? Yeah. And that's how I do my drop merging merge. Actually, I didn't do that right. Just undo that. And this was supposed to be back there one. So again, that's why I don't do build videos. <laughs> I'm always back and forth with what I'm doing. So I need to put that there. Do one up there. And put this up there. And duplicate it down. Gone. Take that out. That out. Put that back. There you go. There's two times that I did the drop merge technique that I use for you to show you how I cover my weapons, and you can cover almost anything that way. You can even um, uh, merge these motors together, and then. Once you actually have them, like I could take that out of there. Probably gonna have to take that out now. And then once you got them merged together once, you can just um, duplicate them. Oh, you see there how I got those all merged down in with it too? Duplicate those actually. So it's going a little long, but I want ones that are right color. Yeah, now it's going down through that engine. stuff in you can put that in through lots of things give it a try that could have worked for you and that's going to be it for now this is my millennium falcon video i think it's a fairly decent looking version of it i got one too many things out here and there we go Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the...